Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We've got Claire here tonight. Good evening, everybody. We've got uh, we've got a bunch of people coming over from a, a stream that Aaron Smith Levin's doing over at Growing Up in Scientology, and um, so we're just going to find out where everyone's from uh, in the chat tonight. If you've got uh, if you've got ability to uh, chat in the comments, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to start pulling those up. Um, and I'll just let you guys know what we're going to cover tonight. We're going to do, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you all of the winners of the Mike Rinder bobblehead photos that we've sent in. Uh, we'll show you the, the, the winner of that of last week's, and then we'll show you all the ones we got in this week. Um, then we're going to do a live Q and a, and so if you want to uh, ask a question, we're going to answer, uh, we, we will answer the super chats first, but we will answer other questions. So um, Claire will start uh, tagging those as they come in. And then after the Q&A, right near the end of the video, we'll show all of the new David Miscavige shoops that we got in this week. And we got in a ton. Like, let's see how many we got here. Um, <laughs> so good uh they're 23 or 22 because one of them is the winner so uh yeah we got a lot of good things in this week and um if you're just joining us from the aaron smith levin live that he was just doing uh welcome to the channel uh we i just saw that it ended and i'm sh uh, see a bunch of people just showed up we've already got 400 comments in here and uh so yeah let's see where some of you guys are calling uh you're watching from <laughs> We've got a never in bitter apostate from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, hey, Nashville. I did a museum in Nashville in uh, downtown. Pretty cool. Uh, we've got uh, Texas. Uh, we got St. Petersburg, uh, British Columbia, Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Lethbridge. I'm not familiar with Lethbridge. Um, Toronto. Uh, Central Arkansas, Gold Coast, Australia, North Carolina, Montreal, Houston, Houston. Uh, we got Mark Fisher out of Vegas, Missouri. Hey, Mark. Central Victoria, Australia. It says Australia, but I'm pretty sure it's Australia. Um, I was corrected. I, I, I've been saying Aussie, and I'm supposed to say Aussie, not Aussie. So uh, I'm, uh, I've been corrected, and I will try to uh, work on that, folks. Um, okay, uh, just so you guys know, we did have some, uh, we, we gave you guys some homework uh, over the past few videos. We had a video where uh, I covered with, I think it was with Mike Rinder, um, the signatures of this letter that Scientology had sent to a bunch of my uh, business clients. And in the signatures, uh, we wanted to find out who these people were, and we got a ton of people looked, b did their internet sleuthing, and um, it looks like we pretty much identified every single person on that list in multiple uh, f f f angles. <laughs> so that thank you very much for that as well. Um, there's a bunch of Twitter trolls, uh, Scientology Twitter trolls. And um, we asked for screenshots of any of those, and we got a ton of those. So I think we're good for now. And um, so, yeah, the only outstanding uh, assignment that anyone has is if you if you like to uh, you like to work some Photoshop magic, uh, go ahead and send us some David Miscavige shoops. Uh, somebody sent me a video from 13 years ago when I asked uh, members of Anonymous to make shoops about David Miscavige. And it's a it's a several minute long video, which has about five seconds for each shoop. And there was a lot of really good ones. And I did see some uh, some of the ones we've been getting in lately are slight variations or some of those that were done 13 years ago. So lots of fun with that. Um, oh, subscribers. OK, I was asking for people to subscribe the other night and somebody emailed me and said that they didn't they couldn't afford it. It's free. You don't have to pay to subscribe. If you just click the subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything. It's free on YouTube to subscribe to a YouTube channel. So if you are worried about the cost, I have lowered the cost of YouTube subscriptions on my channel to zero. They're 100% free. 
Um, so you can subscribe for free. You will not have to, you will not get a bill. And um, it's not like Columbia House. You're going to get a bill like, a, you know, a few months from now for $780 or whatever for all the free CDs for a penny that I sent you. Um, also, if you are worried about Scientology getting your info, they can't. I can bear. I can't even get your info and you're subscribing to my channel unless your username is your your birth name and your social security. Um, most people's uh, YouTube username is like Billy 70732 or whatever it is. So there's not really if there's an identifying if you're if your YouTube channel is your actual name, then it's possible they could look you up. But um, but other than that, if it's just some random name, it's highly unlikely that Scientology is going to track down one of my 23,000 subscribers and do anything to them at all. And if they do track you down, they might send you one of those awesome letters they sent to all my clients. Uh, but other than that, I think you'd be pretty safe. So if you were worried about the cost or you're worried about Scientology tracking you down and that's why you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then um, go ahead and hit subscribe. You'll be golden. Okay. Um, and then one last thing I was going to say. Oh, a bunch of people asked me about the music that is in the beginning and the end of the videos on my channel. And um, that music was actually done by a Scientologist by the name of Jeff Levin, an ex-Scientologist by the name of Jeff Levin. And Jeff and his brother Robbie were both in a band in the 60s called People! Exclamation point. And um, I think they had a, a hit song called... Sorry, I forget. I think it was called I Love You. I wasn't even born in 1968. So the fact that I know that it's pretty, um, pretty remarkable. Um, but uh, they both used to be in Scientology back in uh, the 60s. And somewhere along the way, um, the band broke up. And then also Robbie ended up leaving Scientology, but Jeff stayed in. And then they were they got disconnected from each other. These two brothers that were in this rock band. And, um, and I, I've never met Jeff in person, but I have met Robbie and I actually talked to Robbie when Jeff was still in and he wasn't able to talk to him. And then a few years ago, Jeff ended up leaving Scientology as well and they were reunited. Anyway, they have a movie, uh, that's called Brothers Broken and I'm going to put a link to it in the description. And, um, there's a festival that's uh, a film festival that's coming out. And if you sign up for that, uh, you'll be able to watch the movie. And um, yeah, so Jeff Levin is the one who did the music for my channel. I think he also did, I don't, I, uh, I, correct, somebody knows this and I'm wrong, um, but I think he also did the music for the Fair Game podcast as well. That, da -da, if you've ever heard the Fair Game podcast that uh, Mike and Leah do, Mike Rinder and uh, Leah Remini do, um, he did the music for that, I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, we're giving a, we're giving a little uh, we're gonna uh, give a little shout out to Jeff and uh, sharing a link to his movie that's that's coming out about him and his brother and the rock band and how they were uh, disconnected and all that good stuff and I think the band actually also broke up uh, because Scientology like one of the members uh, was they considered because there's they were I think most of them were Scientologists and like one or two guys in the band weren't. And um, the guy that kicked out of the band for being an SP or an antisocial personality, he went on to produce like a hundred albums. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he might have been uh, they might have considered him an SP, but he was very productive in the Christian music genre. So, um, yeah. Oops. Uh, and I also knew there was another member of the band. His name was Al Rabisi. And Al Rabisi was the father of Marissa and Vonnie Rabisi. Vonnie Rabisi is an actor. Marissa was also an actor. But um, I went to school with both of them. And um, so I knew about this whole people thing when I was a kid. And I was just sort of like, okay, whatever. Um, but, um, but yeah, there you go. Did I forget anything, Claire? What else we got? I think we're, we're ready to get in some bobblehead picks. I'm not, not going to say, say much, much because, because everyone's everyone saying, saying my audio, audio is echoing. echoing. <laughs> really? Yep. yep. Amazing. Um, that's really weird. Maybe plug your headphones into, um, hmm, I don't know. 
That's weird. Oh, did you turn on... You could put on echo cancellation in your uh, StreamYard thing. Try that. Okay. That's what I would do. Um, sorry about that. Wow. Um, I didn't see that either. Let's see. Claire's <laughs> echoing. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, no, it didn't. Never, Never mind. mind. Oh, you're not echoing to me at all. No, but, no, as, but I as I mentioned, I'm echoing, echoing to me and, and everyone, everyone else can hear it too. Wow, that's really weird. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> Somebody said, said I'm okay, okay with, with more, more than, than one Claire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, multiple Claire's. Okay, well, there you go, folks. Claire's going to just be looking pretty tonight. Um, that's weird. Um, oh, I do have to do one thing. I almost forgot. Stephanie from Germany, thank you very, very much. I just got a care package, right? When I got home today, I just got home like 20 minutes ago from work. But there was on, on the counter was this it was a giant stack of depeche mode records from germany they're all german editions that i do not have for the most part i don't think i have any of them um but there's a whole stack of them they're all like original purchases from when the albums came out so they're original um like the first editions and they are all german editions that i do not have and this stephanie from germany sent them in and we tried to pay her for them and she wouldn't take any uh any do re mi so thank you stephanie that's probably one of the best gift packages i've ever gotten and um the fact that they were depeche mode records from germany is pretty amazing so um yes thank you very much for that that's like early birthday for me i love that depeche mode just uh is doing a uh, just selling tickets for uh their tour that they just announced and they're just about to start in about i think it's about three weeks or so and um the tickets are very very expensive and um i would i usually try to get front row center and um we're taking our three boys to these depeche mode concerts and for five of us to go front row center would probably be about as much as a small uh vehicle so we didn't get we didn't get first row for this one, but um, it is still going to be amazing. And this may be, I don't want to jinx it, but this may be uh, one of the last tours that Depeche Mode does. So um, the boys, my boys really wanted to go and see it. So that's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, I think that's it on um, all that uh, housekeeping stuff. Let's get into some, uh, some bobble picks. So in case you didn't know, this picture is the winner of last week's uh, bobble picks just it was not even a competition this one by far this is from is it marilyn honig yes honig or honig i'm sorry if i'm butchering your name marilyn but marilyn took not only did she take the picture but she crocheted this amazing lord xenu costume that the mike rinder bobblehead is wearing and according to Marilyn, she's making three more of these to send to Mike, myself, and Aaron, I think. And um, this is going to be – this. It's I don't know. It's going to be on the same level as the, uh, the gift package I got. But this is exciting me just because it's so awesome. So this was the winner. So I think we have to send Marilyn an SP bracelet or – um a book or something we got to find out we already she... did oh we did we sent her one mm -hmm. awesome see claire's on it She's... i'm gonna jump out and see if it works for me to come back in okay no problem i'll let you back in um <laughs> nice yeah no problem oh well, we... let, let me just, just do a test, test real quick, quick. Oh, okay good you can do all the tests you want take me to your leader okay still messed up it's still okay thank you okay wow that's a um okay so yeah, Claire's gone. Just me now. Um, oh, I could do this too. Can I do that? Oh, yeah, that's even better. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that for when Claire comes back. But, uh, okay, is Mike in here too? So I just saw somebody said, hi, Mike. Um, Mr. Clean. Claire's echo God voice will be great for intermittent comments of authority. <laughs> okay, so uh, so that was the winner of last week. Thank you, Marilyn. Um you got that one good. Let's uh, let's get Claire back in here. Let's see what she's got to say for herself. Is it better? Testing. Testing. Oh, still yeah. bad. Wow. 
Okay. Well, I'm really sorry, Claire. I'm not sure what you did up there in uh, Office Land. Um, you could just reboot your computer and try that again. Um, okay. okay. Let me jump. Yeah. Let me jump. Yeah. I'm going to also, also try, try plugging my headphones, headphones into, into my computer. computer. There you go. Even better. Okay. So while Claire sorts that out, we're going to go back here and uh, poof. And um, yeah, let's do this. Um, so we've got that's the uh, the winner of last week. Now let's start the new ones. So this is a picture of the Mike Rinder bobblehead with Chris Shelton's book, Scientology A to Zenu. Um, and uh, it looks looks like the person's parked. Uh, let's say they're parked. I don't think you could drive like that. And oh yeah, they're right next to the curb there. Let's say they're parked. I hope they're parked. Um, Oh, and then, oh, this is like a photo series. So it looks like they are at the, can anybody read that? Scientology Mission of the well, West Valley? Mm. I can't see what that says. It's really tiny in the window. But looks like they got the bobblehead and um, some Chris Shelton book and something else. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's their, um, maybe that's a uh, shopping list that they've uh, put on top of something. Maybe some aftermath cards. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, then we've got. Oh, look at this. This is a little bobble render. <laughs> little bobble render, with uh, <laughs> with just some other little little knickknacks and stuff like that. And then um, we've got another one, a bobble render with a little uh, little troll guy. <laughs> a way to happiness. That is a weird way to happiness book with little trolls. And then there's a picture of Dave Miscavige in the background looking very uh, odd. And then um, let's see what else we got. We got, uh, oh, wow. You know, I'm not sure where this person got this, but that looks like a really, really fancy L. Ron Hubbard ashtray. And then there's a Scientology e-meter uh, behind the bobble render. And then, yeah, I look for Easter eggs in this thing. I'm not sure there's anything else here. Okay, let's see if uh, that's the end of the bobble render. So uh, thank you for all the people that sends, uh, sent those in. And uh, let's see if uh, we've got Claire back. How, how's it now? Testing. Testing. Still, Still bad. bad. Wow. Not sure what happened. Um, that's a bummer. Um, okay, it looks like I'm answering all the questions tonight, guys. Um, let's get rid of this. And uh, let's go to here. And uh, oh, if you if you guys are playing the drinking game, usually we save that for Friday of the weekend. But there's a black and white cat in the back of Claire's picture there. Um, but uh, let's see. Have you started any questions? We could get going on some questions. It is six eighteen, folks. So we are gonna do. Um, we're going to do some questions here. Cassandra says, Oh my God, Mark, have you seen that the DM tickets are on sale now and how depressing the prices are? Yes, they are depressing. <laughs> it's uh, I mean, it is what it is now. They, um, concerts are very expensive these days overall. Um, I have a friend who has a daughter and they wanted to go see, I think it was Taylor Swift or something like that. And the tickets cost like, uh, you have to give them your firstborn. Uh, Renee B says they definitely need to do an earlier episode on the weekend. So it's easier for those outside the United States. Yeah, we did that. I think we did that not last weekend. Was it the weekend before? I think we did that last weekend. We'll see how our schedule is. Usually, um, the, the past few weeks, we've been doing so many videos during the week that, uh, we had to take a break this last weekend. It was just so much, but, um, so yeah, we'll see if we can do that again this weekend. Uh, do a real, like we, I think we did it at like noon on Sunday. And that allowed uh, a bunch of other people to do it. So we'll try to do that. If we do, I'll, I'll make an announcement or I'll, I'll post it. Also, if you subscribe to the channel and you click the bell notification icon, you'll get an alert if I'm going to be live or when a video is coming up or when it's going to um, go live. So you'll know. Uh, Style of the Cat says, this thumbnail is great. Yes, this is one of this week's submissions for these shoops. I don't make these uh, thumbnails, by the way. These are sent in by you folks that are uh, viewers or listeners. So um, if it's really, really good, I'll use it as the thumbnail for a video just because um, they're fun. And um, evidently, David Biscavige is not the biggest fan of these shoops. So, uh, yeah, I, I put them in there as much as I can. Uh, greetings from Milwaukee. Thank you. Um, 
And then already tipsy from Ontario, Canada, A.A. Ron done messed up. Oh, okay. Just Jules. Um, I'm not sure what that was about. I wasn't, I went, I literally just got home, so I didn't get a chance to see Aaron's stream. Uh, San Francisco's in the house. Thank you very much, San Francisco. And then, um, oh, look who else is in the house. Growing up in Scientology. Aaron, hi, everyone. <laughs> hi, Aaron. Um, Echo on Claire's audio. Thank you, Catherine S. Uh, I think we got that. All right. Uh, Brian, thank you for the super sticker. Uh, or Brianna. Sorry, Brianna. Um, and then we got Matrix Tech Solutions. I can't get over that name. It seems like a very cool. I, I, I wonder what. I'm going to look that up later. Matrix Tech Solutions. I'm, I'm, probably they fix computers or do something like that. Melissa Henry, question for Claire. Were you ever able to reconnect with your grandmother in England? She was. And um, we actually went and saw her in England back in 2007. And uh, we spent a whole bunch of time with her. And um, we took her to the mall. And I did tell a funny story about that. I, I'll have to look at which video that is. We'll have to make a little clip or we'll link to the exact part of that video where um, we talked about when I was pretending I would, my, my back hurt so your granny would ride in the wheelchair and then we would share it. We would switch back and forth. That was a really good, um, fun time with granny. Um, Tarkina Meyer says, got my signed book from your site and just bought the Audible. Heading out for a cruise in a couple of weeks and this will be my vacation listen. Um, yeah, Tarkina, awesome. What cruise line do you go on, Tarkina? Um, uh, we would love to know because we are, uh, Claire and I go on a, we go with the kids on a cruise pretty much just about every year, sometimes twice a year. Uh, we take a lot of vacations uh, now that we're not in uh, crazy, the crazy place. Uh, Marcus5 says, not only are they reaching out to your customers, but did you see all the videos they put out about you today? They are ridiculous. Oh, I did not. See, that's the crazy thing. I They block me on Twitter. All these troll accounts that put out these videos on me. So I never see any of these videos and I never see any of the websites or all the craziness they put out. I only hear from you guys when people write in and say there's a video about me licking crackers or I tried to drown my mom when I was six or whatever the nonsense is. I don't I don't ever see it. I just hear about it uh you know, secondhand usually, but, um, but that's good. That means whatever we're doing, cause they haven't done, I mean, that's true. Actually. I didn't really think about that till just now. Um, I haven't been getting any feedback from people that, um, Oh, somebody says, hold on a second. Sorry guys. Mark, there has been suggestions that you need to mute Claire as she is coming, is coming your computer. She's coming my computer. Okay, let's try something here, guys. Sorry you guys have to uh, watch this, but uh, let's go to here. I just switched over to this. H how would she be coming into my computer? Um, I'm not sure how she They're would They're saying, saying my, my audio is coming, coming out, out of your computer. computer. Um, yeah, it's not. I'm here. Oh, here, hold on. Talk. Hold on. Talk. Talk. Testing. Talk. Yeah, no, it's not. So, no. Uh, maybe she has her mic on. Who knows? We don't know. She, um, I haven't done anything down uh, to her side, so I can't really make her side echo. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on up there. But um, my audio, I'm going to switch back to my little thing. I have these little, uh, little uh, things here that I have for sounds like this one. Dave's not here. And... Um, yeah, not sure. Okay, sorry. What I'm trying to think of what I was at. Um, here we go. Uh, Sal, four ninety nine. Congrats on twenty three thousand. I'm so happy you started this channel. Great work to you too, and thank you so much. Can't wait for Claire to write her book. Yeah, me neither. I got to. Uh, I got to sign up. Actually, do, do I have to sign your books when we sell your book? Do I have to sign those too? Um, they just announced, uh, Kitty Mom says, they just announced a Peshmo date near me. This should buy you, this should buy you all two sips of a beverage at the concert. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we can pay the tax on a, on a beverage here in, uh, in wherever we end up going. Uh, Donna Ria, 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 he, uh, that Mark, there has been the suggestions that you need to mute Claire as she is coming in on your computer. Yeah. Um, she's, 
she's uh yeah she's on her own she's on her own setup over there in a different place um sorry yeah here's all this is all the super chats are about claire's audio tonight this is amazing claire do you have a mic in those earphones you have to turn it off if you do um no we uh yeah not sure what she did up there uh jerry oh this is uh this is sarasota jerry do you wash the windows on your house with newspaper as lrh has commanded no we don't um just so you know guys l ron hubbard wrote policies in scientology for just about everything one of those things was that you cannot wash windows with any sort of uh, like windex or any kind of commercial cleaner you have to use ammonia with newspapers, ammonia and water and newspapers. And that's the only way you can wash a window, period. And if you get caught washing a window some other way, then um, you get in trouble in the C organization. Data Thomas says, the ashtray and e-meter are what happens when I let my husband shop on eBay unsupervised. That L. Ron Hubbard e, uh, ashtray is amazing. Um, the, e, the e meter, that hopefully you didn't have to pay too much for that. I've seen you can get those e meters on eBay for like 100 bucks, uh, but uh, hopefully. Uh, any familiar with the Dynetics picture book? Absolutely. There is a book, it's a, it's a pretty big uh, size, uh, like kind of like a, like a photo book, basically. And it is a, it's like how to do Dianetics in like cartoon form. And um, yes, I don't think it's around anymore, but it used to be. Um, F. Shopes says, was Hubbard a schizophrenic? I'm not sure that he was schizophrenic. Um, he was definitely a little loopy near the end. Um, and he was taking some uh, psychotropic drugs. But um yeah. Uh, JLD is me says, I kind of like the echo. Turn the volume down a little bit, though. Um, smack your computer upside the mic input. Uh, yeah, I, I have fixed computers for a living and smacking the computer usually is not your uh, best option. Um, Emily Hart, I really dig your content all the best. Thank you, Emily. We appreciate it. Uh, we, Claire did an interview with Gary Moorhead. He used to be at the international headquarters, uh, the same place uh, Claire and I were both at. And I want to say he was there for probably about the first, depending on if it's Claire or me, probably this six to eight years we were both there. And then he ended up leaving. Um, ironically, when I tried to leave right after I first got there, the first year I was there, I tried, I was like, I'm out of here. This place is insane. Uh, Gary was one of the people who was kind of like, yeah, you should just try and sort it out. You don't have to go. And then he ends up leaving and I stayed probably twice as long as that afterwards. So, um, but Gary used to be the security chief and he did an interview with Claire and that's coming out in the morning tomorrow. So if you guys want to uh, watch that, I think it's going to go live about 8 a.m. Mountain Time. And um, it's really cool. It's a really good interview. And G Gary's story is so amazing. I don't even think they got up. I think they got up to just about when he was about to arrive to the property. Yep, yep that's, that's right. right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So there'll be many interviews with uh, Gary as well. That's very cool. Um, tuka, 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 tuka. Oh, here's a good one. Cassandra again. Thank you, Cassandra. She says, Mark and Claire, if you could reconnect with someone from the Sea Org other than family, who would it be? Claire? Great, Great question. question. Katie, Katie Feshbeck. Feshbeck. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kate Claire was friends with a girl named Katie Feshbeck. Katie Feshbeck's um, parents are huge, huge uh, donors. Is her mom, what's her mom's name? Is her mom Lynn Feshbeck or, oh no, no, no. it's AJ, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Because one of those Feshbeck people is the one who's been putting out hate videos on me. <laughs> so it's her aunt. One of Katie's aunts is, uh, is uh, trolling on Twitter right now. Um, I would connect with a guy named Kevin McHenry. And Kevin McHenry was a guy that I worked with 
And uh, we had all kinds of fun adventures uh, when it wasn't mis- we weren't being miserable at the base, at the inter- at headquarters. And when I went there one time with a Danish film crew, he had come out on the highway to yell at me with a whole bunch of other int base staff members, uh, Sea Org members. And then afterwards, I heard from somebody who escaped later on that um, he said that he should have left when I left. And he was like regretting that he didn't get out of there already. Thank you, Cassandra. That was a great question. Uh, Maxwell Edison's mom. I just found out that's a Beatles reference. Does Claire possibly have the internal mic on her computer on as well as the mic that's in front of her? That's right. Just switch over to a different mic and leave the headphones on. Switch over to your your display uh, mic and then let the, um, the headphones be the same. Maxwell Edison's mom. Not exactly what she suggested, but that is a good way. How's that, How's that sound? Is it echoing so still? I have an echo. Yeah, did you click yeah, echo cancellation? Your new thing. Did you click echo cancellation in StreamYard? In your audio settings, like I asked? I did. I did that. Still, echoing. still echoing. Okay. There sorry, you go. Sorry, people. Here, uh, let, just play this. Just pretend this is saying um, Claire and not a Aaron. Let me see if I've got it here. Let's see. I don't know where it is anymore. Oh no! After all that, I can't find it. Um, sorry, guys. Yeah, this is Claire. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! You done messed up, Claire. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! <laughs> Claire messed up. Thank you all for all you do. Love from London. Awesome. This week. No, I changed mine, and mine sounds great. I didn't change yours. I can't make your echo in a different place far from me. And also, I did lives with Mike and Aaron, and every and we, we've done tons of other things, and there's been no echo, so I'm not sure. Um, Jeff Levin also did the iconic music for Dianetics, the Dianetics question ads. I had no idea, Jeff. I thought Peter Schles did those. That is amazing. So there's some old Dianetics ads from the 1980s ago. Do, 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 do. I'm probably messing up the notes because I'm not a musician, but um, do, 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 whatever. It's like a, it showed a volcano exploding and then the Dianetics book would kind of come in. Um, very cool. Thank you, Jeff. Why is Jeff? Why do we get these super chats from all the XSO people? Um, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. I'll take it. I mean, whatever. Hopefully the audio struggles aren't too frustrating. Happy to hear from you both in any multiples. Yes. Me, one Mark and three Claire's. Ayana Ivy, Ivana Ivy says, so taking any drugs, especially psychiatric drugs are a no, no, but DM and LRH smoking like chimneys and swilling coffee is okay. But nicotine and caffeine are drugs. Scientology hypocrisy much. Yes. Excuse me. Yeah, there's actually, I think, a it's an LRH, it's a, in a lecture or something where he says, not smoking enough cigarettes is what will give you cancer. Um, and uh, yes, L. Ron Hubbard smoked cools. I want to say non-filters. I wasn't around when Hubbard was around, so I'm not sure. I do know he smoked cools, but I'm not sure what kind of uh, variety. Um, but David Miscavige smoked camel non-filters. So the, some, some people call them camel straights or camel non-filters or uh, cancer sticks, whatever. And I actually, when I was at the Imp base, I did also smoke camel non-filters. And I would smoke them so far down to the very nub that my forefinger and thumb were like yellow from the nicotine, taking them down like that. But um, yeah, there's a lot of hypocrisy in Scientology. That's not uh, that's not uncommon. Uh, yes, and coffee. Uh, sea Org members drink a lot of coffee and smoke a lot of cigarettes. Jason Polycron, hello. Hope you are well. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate that. Um, Annette two three two LRH frontal lobe epilepsy suggested by behavior. Oh wow. Okay, that's really spooky. Um, um, also, Miss uh, L. Ron Hubbard was very, very, very anti-psychiatry and anti-psychology. I think because they were his main competitors. I think that was the main reason for that. But um, yeah, he wasn't a fan. He also wasn't a fan of the dentist dentistry. So that's why his teeth 
uh, kind of look like the um, like the Spice Girls. They're all different colors and they're all doing their own thing. Um, that's uh, L. Ron Hubbard's uh, dental situation. Um, do you know if actor Sheridan Smith is Scientologist in the UK? St. in the UK. Uh, Sheridan Smith. I've never heard of Sheridan Smith. Sorry, guys. I'm not a big. Uh, I'm not keeping up on a lot of UK um, stuff. I'm trying to think. Who do I know? Yeah, I don't know any TV shows in the UK. Sorry. I don't even watch TV anymore, really. So I the only show I watch is Yellowstone, and um, there is a very very crazy uh, Yellowstone Scientology co- uh, like crossover about some stuff that I'm going to do a video on at some point, but it's pretty crazy. The Scientology YouTube channel, Leah Remney, The Facts, had not posted in 10 months, but in the last eight days, they have published 18 videos about Mark. Oh my gosh. That's from Aaron. Wow. 18, 18, is that, that's not right. 18, eight days. Yeah. 18 videos. Wow, 10 months. And the channel's called Leah Remini, The Facts. And it's just videos about me. I love that. Why don't I get my own channel, Scientology? Hey, Osa, can I get my own channel, please? Um, somebody go find out how many subscribers they got on that pig. I hope they don't have more chan- more subscribers than me. Um, maybe they'll send, maybe people will come over to my channel from there. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that. Um, on Hot Azat says, Peace, love, Zenu. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, praise Zenu. Um, Nick Jacoby. Uh, thank you, Nick Jacoby. Now, oh, that was another thing. A bunch of people have asked me about Zenu. Zenu is not um, pro Scientology. Lord Zenu is like, he's the arch enemy of Scientology. In their OT3 upper level materials, Lord Zenu is the one who caused everybody to have body thetans stuck to them. So for all the Scientologists that are watching you, I'm sorry, but I just gave you a confidential OT3 uh, information that's actually 100% factual. And Lord Zenu is a bad guy to Scientologists. So I am... I support Lord, Lord Zenu because he is against Scientology. And also, if anybody is wondering why, let's just say all of this crazy Scientology nonsense is true. Who do you want to be on the side of? A guy, a little 413 guy named Dave or an intergalactic Lord Zenu, an intergalactic ruler from 75 trillion years ago? Okay. I'm siding with Xenu on that one. If he had enough resources and logistics to get billions of beings from other planets and galaxies here to Earth, I'm going with I'm I'm putting my money on Lord Xenu, not some little troll named Dave. Ruth W says, because I'm trying to be normal and not esoteric, I like saying that now. Thanks, Mike. Oh, okay. There's some something happening in the chat. Um Ruth, I'm sorry, I didn't see the other things. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Tim Harris, thank you very much. Um, Nick Jacoby, would your opinion of Scientology change if DM's successor actually improved Scientology and got rid of the whole and paid a decent wage to its workers? It's not really about that because I'm pretty sure that Hubbard was a con man and a liar and a thief. And he's actually convicted of being a thief. He actually had a conviction as a thief. So, um, and he's obviously a con man and he was wanted by many different governments all over the world. So I'm pretty sure the sh- that ship had already sailed when Hubbard was running the joint. Um, Dave just amped up the evil aspect of it. So it was not only people stealing your money, but also being evil to you at the same time. And, and Hubbard wasn't the nicest guy in the world either. He was pretty evil to uh, people here and there um, from the people that used to work there when Hubbard was around. So um, no, I think Scientology just needs to, um, they just need to kind of wrap it up. They had a good run. Uh, they made a ton of money. They stole the money, ton, ton of money from people and they got away with a lot of it. Uh, they should be, uh, they should be over. Mark, you seemed like you had a good story about the stuff from 20 years ago as compared to now. The more you bug DM, the more they PI you. Yeah, right? Um, what is that? 
What's up with that? Um, also, the stuff, that's true. That's a good point. A lot of these spy files that I'm talking about happened in 2006, um, which is kind of weird that they would lose their minds about that now that I think of it. And also, Marty Rathbun had posted many um, documents from these spy files. He actually posted on his blog, uh, Marty Rathbun did, when he was on the on the side against Scientology. And these things are up on his site to this day. And if uh, I think I've already screenshotted them. So if they take them down, it doesn't really matter to me. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting what's going on. Something happened on my channel that got to Dave and he got in a tizzy, he got his little panties in a twist. I know, I know what, what it is. is. What is it? It's, it's the, the Shelly series, series we have coming. coming. Oh, that's right. We did announce this whole Shelly series. And um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening on that. Claire is doing these other interviews first. We're trying to establish uh, like who these people are that sh that Claire is going to interview. So we're trying to tell their stories so you know where they worked and where they came from. And then once we've done that with a whole bunch of people, then we're going to release the interviews that Claire did with them about Shelly and how they knew Shelly and where. So yeah, and we have a ton of amazing stuff on Shelly. Uh, sh stuff no one's ever seen before and we're just trying to get it all into like a digestible sort of package that we can lay out some history. And um, yeah, that could be what it is. The Shelly thing is definitely, because they went crazy on Leah when she started asking about Shelly when she was in Scientology. They told her she didn't have the rank to ask about Shelly. Um, I do have the rank. I am uh, SP Mary Torius level 55. So um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm like, I'm, we, uh, Claire and I are both super, super uh, high level SPs. Somebody, Somebody said, said that, that there's 398, 398 subscribers to that Leah Facts YouTube uh, channel. channel. Okay, good. And they, and they also, also put up videos, videos on me. On me. Oh, good. There you go, Claire. If you don't have a hate site, you're not doing it right. That's what I always say. Uh, Ted F says, why was Barbara Ruiz disappeared, but not Angie Blankenship? They seem to have been close with DM and Shelly. Does Barbara know more than Angie? Um, Barbara may know different things, but I would say that Angie knows more because at one time, according to Mike, <clears throat> excuse me, according to Mike Rinder, Angie Blankenship was in charge of the whole. Her post title, her, her, the her hat or what she was, her job in the Sea Org was whole IC, which stands for in charge. So whole in charge, and she was the boss of all the people in the whole, and every day told them what they needed to confess to or what their activities were, or whatever nonsense they were up to. And at one point, this is what I was told. I wasn't there, so I only know what I've been told. Uh, what I was told is that Angie Blankenship was the person also running Tommy Davis, who was the international spokesperson for Scientology after Mike Rinder left. And she was running a project with Tommy Davis and his wife. Um, what was her? What was his wife's name again? Jessica? Jessica Feshback, you're muted. Uh, Jessica Feshback was Tommy's not Katie. Katie is another. Jessica is a whole nother feshback girl. And I think her mom is the one that's trolling me on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, Jessica Feshback was also a Sea Org member. And she was twins with another feshback that was in the end base, whose name was Melissa Feshback. There was a whole bunch of feshback gals running around. Um, and at least two of them were at the end base. And this uh, other one was working with Tommy, and then they ended up getting married, Tommy Davis and Jessica Feshback. And they were running around Los Angeles and rounding up any ex int base Sea Org members and getting them to sign all new documents that they would shut their little mouths and not talk about the ant base, and they would pay them. And depending on what the person asked for, that's what they pay them. So if they were just going to say, hey, we want you to come in and sign some documents and the person was cool with that, they'd give them $500 and have them sign these documents. And because there was an exchange of cash and they were videoing them and they had lawyers present, 
that sort of made it a little bit more sticky that these NDAs could be um, enforced, except they didn't give, any, give anybody any copies of them and the person themselves wasn't allowed to have a lawyer there. So still questionable if it was enforceable. But either way, some people asked for 20,000, they gave them 20,000. Some people asked for 50,000, they gave them 50,000. Well, Angie was the one running that project. And at some point, Angie was also out doing something and she got pregnant by a public Scientologist, which is a big, big, big no-no in the Sea Org. But it's because my wife and I filed a lawsuit against Scientology, accusing them um, of making people unalive babies that weren't born yet. That made it so they couldn't tell women to do that procedure anymore. And because of that, because, and Angie knew this, she knew that if she got pregnant, they couldn't do anything. And so they let her go. Now, Barbara, on the other hand, was not so lucky. So I think that's the difference between Barbara and Angie. Angie knew enough to know exactly what to do to be able to slip out the back door and uh, not have them be able to do anything. And her father was the one who had a company that was making all the titanium capsules for the Church of Spiritual Technology that they dig holes in giant mountains. And um, so that if there's a nuclear uh, war, um, all of L. Ron Hubbard's writings and recordings will withstand that. And the new civilization that rises from the ashes somehow are going to find these vaults and be able to get into them, even though the nuclear fallout wasn't able to get into them. I think you're just going to put in a code like, you know, uh, ET phone home and the, the thing's going to open up and you just go in there and get all the good stuff. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the how that's going to work. Um, how Scientology has planned that out. Cat and Maggie, Claire is God, confirmed. Uh, yeah, it might have something to do with this whole ginger uh, daywalker thing. She, Now that she's been anointed as a uh, grand uh, grand ginger, uh, maybe she got the echo voice that comes with that as a perk. Uh, Catherine Olson, here's a super chat from an ex-SO person. <laughs> See, it's just like, it's so, so ridiculous. Robert King, let's clear the planet of Scientology. Yes, Robert, that is exactly what we're working on. Um, Amanda, thank you, Amanda, for the super sticker. Um, smoking stunts your growth. Hmm. Yes. Good point there, Tarkina. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I'm pretty sure Dave Miscavige started smoking when he was in his, his teens. I just got my bobblehead in the mail. You guys are faster than Amazon. Uh, that's Claire. Yeah, that's Claire. She's uh, she's on it. Uh, if you order a bobblehead during this video, it ships out first thing in the morning. It's already packaged. It's already get ready to go. And it goes, sometimes it'll even go out tonight. Like if I got to go out and get some milk or something, I'll drop them off at the post office. Uh, Anhata Zat says, LRH probably had temporal lobe epilepsy. John attacked it a video on it. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. It's very possible. He was definitely... Uh, just a couple sandwiches short of a picnic. So um, it's very possible that he had some sort of mental situation that was unaddressed. 390 subs on the Leah Rem Re Remini, the facts. I think you, I think you will. I don't know what, oh, because I just realized the super chats only let you do so many characters. I didn't know that until I started doing super chats over at Aaron's channel. So sometimes you're trying to write something, but you got to pay like $3 to get like an extra 10 letters. It's ridiculous. Um, OBG Foster. With shrinking numbers, shouldn't COS want more babies? Yeah, that's exactly it. Another thing that doesn't make any sense. Thank you. That's 100% the logical thing to think of don't make them get rid of the babies make them have more babies if you want more members not sure why they haven't figured that out it might be too late for them to do that xenu is my homeboy yes and if you didn't know i've been a big xenu is my homeboy fan for since 2005 and um i am the proud owner of the xenu is my homeboy dot com uh domain now is it do is that the domain yeah, Zenu is my uh, Zenu is my homeboy.com. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any dashes or anything in there. I think it's just Zenu is my homeboy.com. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we got all kinds of fun stuff planned for that. Uh, J Dice, I remember Dianetics ad when I asked my mom what it is. 
what is it? She said it was a novelist pretending to know how people can improve their minds and it's just a bunch of BS. Wise woman, yes. Oh, I have such an amazing video coming up on L. Ron Hubbard pre-Scientology. So good. Miss. Thanks, Miss. Super sticker. Brett Grace, I've been getting those Leah Remini The Facts videos promoted to me. Most of them only have like seven views. It's so embarrassing. This is this YouTube stuff is hitting a nerve, huh? Yeah, and that's, I think that is what's going on right now is that Mike is now doing a channel. Aaron's channel is wildly successful. Um, Aaron appeared on another YouTube channel that's going to start promoting um it's going that he did an interview with so that's going to come out there is a lot of content on youtube right now about scientology and scientology has no idea what to do about it and even if they take out one or two of us there's so many more people popping up with stuff it's not this it's going to be very we're going to try to speed up the whole process here so if Scientology crashes, will DM Paul and LRH and head to see? Wonder if there is a free wins two in the works. I don't doubt it. I um, they don't really have a good reason um, to to do that. But um, I mean, Dave could just do whatever he wants. They don't need a free wins number two. Um, that free win ship is really old though, and it's definitely time to uh, get a new one. Uh, but they don't have anybody. Nobody goes there. They spend. They have like um, a week of events in June called the June 6th events, the Maiden, Vo the Maiden Voyage Anniversary uh, Week of Events. And that week is when they make all of the money to pay for all of their expenses for the whole year. And I'm pretty sure the free wins most of the time is almost a wash. Like they don't contribute anything. Whatever they make, they spend for the most part. And they've always had a problem trying to get people to go to that cruise ship because it's really like if you go on a real cruise like uh, Takina's going on or we go on and you pull up next to the free winds in a port, their, their cruise ship, cruise ship, it used to be a cow ferry or a, um, a car or a cattle ferry, I think, originally, some kind of ferry. Um, it is tiny. It's like a little tugboat next to one of these real cruise ships like the you know norwegian or royal or carnival or one of those jessica this is from catherine again thank you catherine jessica fashback was the auditor of kb homes oh yeah she was the uh the hunter of kb homes oh and also guess who got pregnant and left the sea org jessica fashback and tommy davis they both left too tommy davis was hated by david miscavige david miscavige was always on tone uh, on um Tommy Davis for being a mess up and he was always trying to like uh you know hang on he was a hanger on with Tom Cruise a lot of times but yeah Jessica Fashback was the auditor of Katie Holmes and maybe even a sec checker of the kids I want to say um I think uh Jessica and or some members of the Religious Technology Center Laura Dolan or Chelsea Graves would do interrogations on the kids right Claire Yep. yep, Mike, Mike added, added that, that she was, was the, the minder, minder of, of Katie, Katie Holmes. Holmes. Yeah, well, she was the auditor. Well, may, she might have been the auditor and the handler. So she was. All of the big Scientology celebrities, they have someone assigned to them. So for a long time, Tom Cruise had Tommy assigned to him. So he was his assistant and kind of like his, his helper guy, but he was also keeping tabs on Tom in case anything happened, he could report back to Dave. And Jessica was that for Katie Holmes. So um, obviously neither one of them did a very good job because Katie's long gone. And, um, and Cruz, whenever anything about Scientology would come up, he would just get just annihilated in the press. And so he just stopped talking about Scientology altogether because it never ended well. Ted F, what an adorable cat in the background. Yeah, that's Oreo, the white and black cat. Thank you, Ted. Um, he is. He's my cat. That's my cat. Claire has a black cat called the Jazzy, Jasmine. Um, uh, Jake says, my wife is a ginger. She stole my soul a year ago and teases me with it. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jake. The struggle is real. Um, LK Niche says, still having problems becoming a member. Tried last night and today on my desk top and still couldn't find where to become a member. 
So having a geek squad coming out to the end of the week to see what's going on with my computer. So sorry. I don't know what she's talking about. A member of what? A subscriber? I'm not sure what's going on there. I think she might be joking. I'm not sure. LK Niche, I'm sorry. Um, if you if she chats, if she puts another answer in there, try to find it, Claire, so I can find out what she's talking about. But um tr- trying to becoming a member. I'm not sure what that's good. Um, okay. Um Loretta got my blown for good book today. Can't wait to read it. Thank you, Loretta. Um, we ship them out. We ship those out too. We've got a whole bunch of books that we uh, send out every single morning. Claire. Would it work if you joined and you both use the same microphone? <laughs> uh, yeah, our Armin Stefanian says, Claire, would it work if you joined Mark in his room and both of you use the same microphone? Just wondering. You want to try it? I'm easy to do it. If you want to do that, you want to do that? Okay, good. Good idea. Hey, thanks. See, sometimes people have great ideas. And um, it looks like we just had one of them because there's enough room here for both of us. I mean... Yeah, there's a, I got an extra chair in here. Um, wow, I don't think we've ever done this before. This is this is groundbreaking content here. <laughs> and I am ordering a desk that is a triple desk for this room so that I could actually have two additional people in here. And uh, look who's here. Look at that. I'll have to move this in the middle here. And then, um, yeah, there we go. You want to go on that side? Where are sure. you at? Yeah. I'll there go you right go. Here. Look at that. You just got to scooch over a little. Okay. There you go. All right. Am I still in there? All right. Okay. You can move over. Move over yep, a little. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, guys. This is a little awkward, oh, but... Uh, the echo was getting old. Okay. Awesome. Well, now we don't even need to hear each other because I'm. Uh, we're the same. Here. You got to go... Uh, yeah. Whatever. This is all good. I'm easy. <laughs> um, okay. Good idea, guys. Um, okay. Here we go. Are all of the women in Scientology as lovely as Claire? If so, where can I join? No. Aww. No, they're not. <laughs> um, I, in 1992, I made a very, very, very wise decision that would last for many years, unknown to, uh, un- unbeknownst to me at the time. But um, here, come, come in a little. There you go. Just go there. Get a little closer. We are a statistical anomaly. Yes, we are. We are <laughs> one of the few... How many other couples? I would say there's a handful of couples that uh, escaped. I don't know if there's many that escaped at different times and stayed together. The ones that escaped at the same time, like they were like, hey, let's get out of here tonight after. <laughs> those guys are still, those guys stayed together. Yeah. And some of them even busted up after they left. But um, there's probably a handful that, uh, that uh, are still together, but most of them that we, if one of the wife blew or the husband blew, they just divorced them and stayed. So, um, yeah, well, you know what? I just realized you can't star the questions if you're here with me. I realized that same <laughs> issue. I'm like, oops. It's okay. Whatever questions are in here right now, yeah. um, we'll answer those and then we might cherry pick some other ones and then we'll do the, uh, we'll do the Mike Rinder, uh, not the Mike Rinder. We'll do the David Miscavige shoots. Yep. Sounds good. Okay. Um, thank you, Jason. Good question. Don't join. There's no good. They did used to use that as a recruitment tactic, though. They a lot of the recruiters were attractive young uh, women who would do the recruiting, or the recruiters would bring a young guy into an office that had a lot of uh, good-looking girls in it. Yep. And that's one of the ways they would uh, they would scoop up uh, some of the gals there. And creepier was Hubbard's messengers were yeah all a lot young. of the messengers were young girls too yeah so uh mark and claire if i pay for a three-week vacation will you put you and claire go on it will i you... started because i thought it was hilarious it's from l yeah. ron hubbard oh that's a great <laughs> idea yeah we'll go on it we're going on vacation anyway we're trying to stack up some videos and we do go on vacation we'll just have videos coming out but we're going to be we're going to be out in the out on an island somewhere so um planet claire should be claire's theme song yes Yay. that's such a great if you guys haven't uh heard of planet claire it's a uh there's a great video it's a b50 b52 B-52s. somebody sent me the link to the video and i watched it i was like oh this is awesome yeah planet claire <laughs> claire just shipped my bobblehead my, my bobble mic today thanks Yay. um awesome thank you uh colette can i ask you 
can I ask you leave the question up until you move on to the next question? Sure. Um, I, I sometimes if I don't take it off, I forget to take it off. So I usually just take it off. But now, um, and so this is what happens. I see, yeah, I have a system and it's messing up my system now, but I can do it, I can yeah. do it. Um, when I click the next one, here, let's go. Are there any, um, oh yeah, we're good. We got all the super chats. Oh, you just went past them. Where? It went too fast. Yeah, see, Claire does all this. I. This is why Sorry, I Sorry guys, I'm. we're kind of, We'll figure out the audio this for next time. This is why I don't do this. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, how many comments are in here? That's We've got 2,000 comments so far. Um, slow mode, please. See, I don't know. Uh, last time I put slow mode on, people complained that I had slow mode on. Now people are asking for slow mode. Yep. We'll get it figured out. Yeah. Somebody. Mark, Mark, Mark. Wor Worcester. Worcester Mass here. Kevman. Mark, Mark, Mark. Worcester. Um, there was a girl that worked with me that was from Worcester. That's why I think I'm saying it right, Worcester. Uh, Napa, Coventry. There is a lot of people in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So these are old. See, so these Super yeah. Chats I already did. See? Oh, Echo. Yeah, I see. see. Okay, gotcha. I knew it. I knew I did okay, those. Okay, okay. My bad. I'm trying to get caught up to uh, all the questions here. But if there's um, – usually they'll show up oh, – yeah. Well, while you look for that, we're going to give a shout out to the world's best moderator. Thank you, Goldie. We love you. Yeah, Goldie's amazing. Yeah. I don't know how. Um, I don't know how she does it. Um, oh yeah, here's it. Here's one right here. Oh, oh yeah, it's on their Leah Remini YouTube channel. There's legit like 10, 11 videos with your mother, Claire's mom, and yep. brother, etc. Yeah, these are all old videos that have been on there forever. The, those have been on our <laughs> our dedicated site. Now they're they're just trying to. They yeah. have nothing better, so you know they're just gonna make themselves look like complete idiots by putting my family speaking bad about me because that doesn't look staged at all. I mean, my gosh. Yeah, it's definitely um, pretty odd. Um, Linda P. Golan says, send money for the BFG seed legal money. fund. Seed oh, money. seed money. for. Oh, I get it because that's a super chat. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Marcus, for the one about the videos. Um, oh, Apostate Alex. I remember having to wash the walls with sugar soap in London Org when I was in ethics trouble once. Is that a thing, sugar soap? I don't know. I don't know, know about the sugar that. soap. That might be an England thing. I don't know about that. It's not an England thing, honey. <laughs> At least not when I was there. Um, K. Valco, <laughs> Judd Apatow made him aware recently. Yes. I think that was in reference to Tom Cruise. Um, yeah. If you haven't hit the like button or the subscribe button, um, hit that. And C says, I like you, Mark, but really love Claire. My mom's name is Claire. Hi, hi, hi. Here from Laval, Quebec, Canada. Hey, Thank you. Thank you, Anne. We were we just in Canada you being here. a few months ago. Yeah, for the first time. Um, Claire messed up. Yeah, yeah oh, we already did these. See, I actually caught a super chat that you didn't it, even get. It probably was Oreo. Probably was messing with my mic settings. That's it. You know, Oreo likes to sleep on Claire's <laughs> desk and he messes around with stuff. So it's fine. I'll go up there later and we'll get yeah. our audio sorted out. I'm sorry you guys had to deal with all this. Yeah, uh, sorry. Thank you for your nonsense. patience. Sorry, I had um, the God we've been, today. We had a good run for a while. We didn't have any technical nonsense for a while. All the... Um, all the uh, technical cooties. Because I'm trying to be normal and not esoteric. I like saying that now. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> nice. That's what it is. Okay, <laughs> I get it. Hi, Ruth. Thanks Tim for Harris. joining us. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. If I already showed it, I'm sorry. I'm trying to... Um, He's I'm multitasking. Trying, I'm, trying and I'm, to I'm better at up. that than he is, so apologies, folks. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Here we can do this do, while I'm do, looking here. Hold do, on, check do. this out. Wait, watch out. Watch you have a Jeopardy one? <laughs> no, I have a better one. Okay. Um, uh, oh, yeah. This sorry. Girl is on fire. No, not that one. Oh, not that one? <laughs> no. Oh, and now I see. I'm I, with Claire here. I'm all my whole I'm, my whole layout is I'm messing all, up his wa. A here man we go. cave is not. I'm playing a silent whisper from where <laughs> Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're good. We got, I think we're good here. All right. Um, yeah. I'm going to put this one just in case. Oh, no, miss. We did that one. There's so many comments. 
I'm not sure. Um, oh, yeah, new comments. You just click there. It goes right on. Yep. Um, yeah, there was another one. <laughs> I like that. Somebody says, Goldie equals slow mode. D. Miscavige equals short mode. Mike Rinder equals blah, blah, blah mode. Yes, blah, blah, blah <laughs> mode. There you go. Slow mode, more short mode. Mike Rinder, blah, blah, blah mode. Um, yes. Yes, Claire Mike definitely has BTs. Yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. Careless Whisper. Uh, and that's a copyright strike. I don't think so. Not if it's really short like that. I think uh, that's a good point, though. I'm not sure about that. Mm. Um, Hopefully okay. not. Here's Goldie. Good. Poe on the Go will be interviewing Apostate Alex Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern sub uh, HD Poe on the Go. Nice. Cool. All um, right. Yeah, we sure. love it. Um, it was the mic. I think the button on the back on the wrong setting. Mm. Mm. We'll I didn't check. even know there was a button on the bike. Um, okay, yeah, and Mark, yeah, um, Amy says this. Uh, Mike is blah, blah, blah mode. Uh, uh, Goldie is slow mode. David Miscavige is short mode, and Mark- Is the pesh mode. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right, great one. Perfect. We're ready for shoops? We are ready for shoops. I'm gonna uh, get rid of this last one here. Okay. Um, wait, did I do these already? Yeah. No. Oh, I didn't do that one. Okay. Hmm. See, I don't know where you find these when you're um, when you've already done it. I'm just gonna read it. I'm sorry, I can't put it up, Maggie. It says, uh, "Realized an anthem, a safe siren song to those who want out. Fifty ways to leave your lover in context. Song, a perfect analogy. Just slip out the back, Jack." Make a new plan, Stan. You don't need to be coy, Roy. Just get yourself free. Nice. There you go. Thank you, Maggie. Yep. And then the other one says, so their A plan is just to reuse these super old staged videos. This House of Cards is really coming down. Yep. Yeah. So that's the thing, guys. They don't have any new... Um, they don't have any new, uh, new stuff. Right. And what are they going to do? <laughs> go to my mom and say, hey, you need to make a new video? Because then what she would do most likely is, because she doesn't know anything, yeah. she would go start looking, probably. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this is going to work. We're going to add this to the stream. Okay, okay, we are now going to do the David Miscavige Shoops of the Week. And um, this is the winner of last week's Shoops of the Week. This is, we. what are we calling it? Shavy Davy? Shavy Davy. Shavy Davy is the winner. And did you send this person something? Not yet, no. Okay, we're going to send you, you, we're going to email you and find out what you want. If you want a bobblehead or an SP bracelet or a book or whatever you want, you won. Uh, Shavy Davy. Nicely done. Yes. Great job. Um, so let's just talk about this one for a second. First of all, if you don't know, that's Aaron Smith Levin from the Growing Up in Scientology channel. And he pretty he does look very similar to this in real life. This is not very uh, a far stretch. He does have a BFG tattoo in this picture, which he does not have in real life. No, but it's a really nice touch. He might want to. Yeah. And know. David Miscavige is um, he's very um, jovial. Well, he's very small too. Yeah. And um and he's getting a shave from A. A. Ron. So um yeah. So this is the winner of last week. Yes. Um this is uh we call this one we don't I don't know what we call this one. I used this for a thumbnail last week because I love it so much. <laughs> it's so good. Dave's looking kind of cute in this one with the that it's got some eyeliner and he's got some nice um what do you call those lashes when you put them on, plant on or stick on or Eyelashes. Fake lashes. Fake lashes. And then um, Tom is getting busy with him in the locker room. And I'm not sure if that's Bill Paxton or I don't know who that is in the background. That was one of the uh, the competitive uh, f uh, fighter pilots. Um, and I'm not sure. I don't remember this movie that well. But um, yeah, I guess that's the goose, the goose man uh, where Dave is. But um, yeah, we'll call this one Top Dave. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's top Dave. Yep. And then this is broke back Dave. <laughs> oh, broke back Sea Org. It says in the, in the caption there, broke back Sea Org. And that's Tom and Dave, obviously, um, what broke back mountain was based on, or I'm, I'm sorry, um, what, uh, the photo, the shoop is based on, uh, broke back mountain. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so this is broke back Dave or broke back Sea Org. 
Um, this one's good. I've mean, got some good Photoshop work. Um, because people are getting better. Some of these people don't even know Photoshop, like this person. Um, here, move over just a little, babe. You gotta move, move this way. There okay. you go. Perfect. <laughs> here, I'm gonna try to back up a little so we're, we're the same size oh, too. Okay. Okay. So this is. Um, I don't know what this is, but let's just call it Dancing Dave. Dancing Dave or Dancing Party. It's got Marty, Dave, Marty Rathbun, Dave Miscavige, Tom Cruise, and Danny Masterson mm. having a little dance break. Dance break, dance break. Mm. And then in the upper corner, it says, We Come Back. It's a Sea Org logo, slogan with the BFG uh, logo is kind of covering it, but there's a Sea Org logo up there. Yep. Um, this is Alfred E. Dave. And uh, it says, What? Me beat my staff? So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's fun. I'm gonna just put the comments up here. Uh, I thought Dave was four foot. Uh, somebody said, "Hold on." Oh, and while you do that too, one comment on the winner from last week, Lil Davies Navy was second runner up. It was actually a pretty close call. So whoever oh, yes. did that one, it was very very creative and and well loved. So thank you. Yes, it was definitely a close second. Yes. For, um, with uh, Shavy Davy and Davy Navy. Little Davy's Navy. Little Davy's Navy and Shavy Gravy. Shavy Navy. Davey. Shavy Davy. <laughs> Shavy Navy Baby Gravy. Um, okay. So um, I just, I wanted to uh, star a question there before I got too, uh, too far down. Okay. Um, if you see any uh, super chats pop, pop up, just let me know. Okay. Um, Dave is 6.6. .6. No, Dave is 4.13. Um, oh, this was a competition yes this is a weekly competition that we have every single week yes we need to generate at least 20 to 50 uh david miscavige shoops every week uh we have to keep our statistics up so each week we have to have more shoops than we had the week before uh that's a big thing in the c organization whatever you did last week you got to do more this week Yep, and it's actually two competitions because we have the shoops is one competition, and then the bobblehead pictures yes is the other, and we give an award for the best of each category each week. Yes, um, this one is uh, we'll call this one uh, the wicked wicked Dave, and it says I'll get you SPs and your little dogs too, and it's Dave, and he is. Um, He's uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm not sure what he has in his hand there, but um, yeah, I anyway, can't that out. either way, uh, this is Wicked Dave. Mm -hmm. And this is Dancing Baby Dave. So if a lot of you uh, have been around for a while on the interwebs, there was a, a meme going around back in the 90s of a dancing baby. And Dave is that dancing baby and he's uh, dancing on the globe next to L. Ron Hubbard. So uh, this is dancing, dancing Davy baby. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. I'm just going to remove that there. Okay. And then this is, oh, this is religion impossible. This is amazing. This is a work of art, guys. Um, let's see here. Um, it says religion impossible, rogue thetans. And then it's got Marty Rathbun stuffing some dosh some do re mi into his uh into his jacket yep and then it's got dave and tom dave miscavige and tom cruise in a very emotional uh romantic embrace and it looks like they're just about to seal the deal and then it's got danny masterson who's got uh some kind of oh he's putting something in someone's drink and then there's shelly and she's behind bars and then there's the two ghosts of l ron hubbard in the background and then down in the corner is Jeannie genie sonnefeld which we talked about on was it last night did we do a live last night yes. yeah we did a live last night with aaron and mike and we talked about this woman who was a sea org uh executive that went to Ohio and started charging people's credit cards without them knowing about it and ran up $8 million in illegal credit card charges Yep. that the church had to pay back. It could have actually been more. $8 million is what they paid back, evidently. Yeah, so or, this is a very creative composition. There's so much. And then it says, Religion Impossible, Rogue Thetans. Yep. So Religion Impossible... Um, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, tip the vote or anything, but this is definitely some quality, quality Photoshop 
Schuppenheimer Smith. Should we just say it's your personal favorite? Well, I'm, you I want to. might not win. I want to see the rest before I make any uh, okay. snap judgments. No I do, commitments. I do like uh, Pretty Dave or Shower Dave or Top Dave or whatever we're calling that one. Okay. Um, that one's I like that one a lot too. But this one's really good. It's uh, I'm kind of torn between the two. Um, this one has a lot more elements. Yeah. Um, and then we've got. That's not a bad idea. Wicked Davy. Okay, I'm just going to start it. I was going to answer it, but I'm just going <laughs> to start it. We'll get to it. Um, this is Wacka Dave. <laughs> and um, these people at the amusement park or the fair or the carnival or whatever, they are, these little Daves are popping out of these holes and they're smacking them with these little, the, these little smackers. And um, this guy in the front just happens to be wearing a BFG uh, sweater. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. Yeah. Nice touch. I, I know. Very it's nice. kind of kind of crazy. These people are really good like that. I don't even know how. I mean, I'm not a Photoshop person. I don't even know how you. They, they twisted it to match. And to be honest, this person did a submission where you were that guy. That's true. But okay. I, you were, you didn't take too kindly to that last week, and yeah, you know, we didn't really want to have it. It's okay, <laughs> but I would rather I like this one better. Yep. Um, and so this is Wacka Dave. Mm -hmm. Yes, the shoop level is being the shoop level is coming up every week. There's more and more, and there are a lot of people that are. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people that are doing these that don't know how to use Photoshop and they're turning out amazing. Yeah. So, oh, I should say too, there were a couple of submissions where, um, when we tried to combine it with into, into this PDF presentation, it just crashed our program every time. So if you were left out, it was not, it was a technical bug. Technical Claire's, bug. Claire's computer is being, uh, manipulated by, um, by kittens and cats. Yeah. Um, okay. This one is cyan. Tolaland. It's a, a play on um, an amusement park. It's got a volcano in the background uh, behind a uh, building that they have in Clearwater, and then it's got a picture of the Scientology boss baby with a uh, with a Mickey Mouse hat with uh, with the uh, rainbow ears. And this is Scientolaland. Don't Sci forget, don't forget Miscavige's four imitation stripes there. Well, yeah, but that's what he wears normal. I know. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. Um, yeah, this is actual size, Dave. That's a good note. We should just call it it's Scientology Land, but we can call it Scientology Land, or you can call it actual size, Dave. Here, let me move this a little bit so we can both hear a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I see. I'm just gonna star these. I see what people are saying here in the comments now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're gonna go fast here because we got a lot more to go. Okay. Um, psychiatric help, five cents. The doctor is in. And, oh, it's Dave mm -hmm. uh, with the peanuts. So we can call that Peanuts Dave. Yep. Peanuts Dave. Um, this is, I want PIs with freaking laser beams. <laughs> so this is um, Dr. Dave, Dr. Evil Dave. Yep. Um, so we can call this one Dr. Evil Dave. Okay. I want PIs with freaking laser beams. I like it. That's a good one, too. Yep. Because, uh, yeah. It's a good one. There's no, there's just not a, there's just not a lot of ways around it. Nope. Um, let me just see if I do this. There we go. That works good too. Oh no, because then we chop you off. Sorry. Well, that's all right. I'm here. No, People it's all can, good. At least there I don't have a double go. voice anymore. There, there we go. go. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, I was, I was thinking there was a way to do it. Okay, we're good. Um, that way you, everybody can see. Oh, this one is uh, the Sith Lord, Dave the Sith Lord. I think. Mm, yeah. I think that's the Emperor. Or I'm not. I'm not. I've seen Star Wars, but I don't know all the characters. Sorry, yeah, guys. This but... is what people eventually look like after many, many years of abusing staff. Mm, that would make sense. Well, it's also when you suck the life force out of other people. If you're True. an energy vampire like David Miscavige, then this is how you uh, progress in time. But um, <laughs> or maybe that's when he doesn't have any body things. Emperor left. Emperor Miscavige. <laughs> we'll call this one Emperor Miscavige because I think that's Pal that's Palpatine. Okay. Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, looking a little rough. Or and combine it with too much tanning, which he's famous for. Oh yes, he does. Dave does have a tanning bed. He does. Um, okay, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, Dave. This is Dave and Tom. This nice. is an actual real life picture of them riding their Ducati motorcycles together with their with their leather on. And um they actually this photo was arranged and taken by Dave's personal photographer. And um yeah, that says a lot right there. And um yeah, they're playing with their Hot Wheels in the background. Yep. 
Um, so yeah, that's good. Uh, this is We Stand Tall, the non-extradition countries tour. <laughs> 2028. And it's got a little mini Dave singing on the stage dressed up as a, like a little... Uh, like a uh, David Lynch Elvis in the middle of the stage, and it's got the jive aces. That that's a Scientology, like uh, j not jazz, but um, what's the name? Like Stray Cats. I don't know what that's. Big band or. Uh, and I'm... for and for everyone who now has "We Stand Tall" running through your head, we apologize. <laughs> we stand tall. Um, no okay. Back. Okay. So we'll yeah, that's uh, that's "We Stand Tall," Dave. That's fun. That's a good one. Um, a swing band. Yes, they're a swing band. Thank you, Mike Rinder. Swing. Um, okay. And then um, let's... Rockabilly is another one. Oh, I didn't see this one. This is a new one. I didn't see this one come in. This is um, Dumber, Dumber and Dumber Dave. Dumber and Dumber Dave. If it isn't written, it isn't true. And they're pointing. And there's Dave. And then the other guy in Dumber and Dumber. And uh, this is Dumber and Dumber Dave. I like that. That's a good one. The Triple D. Triple D Dave. Mm -hmm. Or tr just Triple D. Dumber and Dumber Dave. Um, okay. This is, um, wow. Is that Frankenfurter? I think yes, that's Frankenfurter. Yeah, Dave and Furter. Dave and Furter. That's what the title Dave was. Furter. Dave and Furter. <laughs> this is from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> Dave and Furter. Oh, my oh and yes, and, and before you go on. Shh. I know. There's another one. Uh, well, we can finish. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, there's another one just like I'm this. I'm not sure. There is. Um, that's Dave and Furter. We'll say this is Dave and Furter 1. Um, this is a great one. See, that's why I'm saying. Oh, the, we got yeah, I didn't even Shavy Davy, and then you religion, got religion, religion, religion impossible, and then you've got no, not Shavy Davy was last. last Sorry, you're thinking it, of um, Tom the Top, top Dave. Gun Top 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 Dave. Top, top Dave. Mm -hmm. um, this, I don't even know what we call this one. Um, Sorry, Katie. <laughs> we'll call this one Bobble Dave. Bobble Davy. I love that they have. Mo That's Monique Yingling. That's Monique Yingling is the woman yeah. in the picture. Oh, Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, and th this was a. Um, oh my goodness! There's, this this is just amazing. This is um, a a, a t tamed down version. Um, in the original, Grant Cardone is giving Dave little Davy Bobble the finger, but then somebody put a cigar over his finger. I see. Um, then you've got a little baby Davy, a bobblehead, and he's wearing a captain's hat and a Mickey Mouse uh, ears hat. Yeah, and for anyone listening, Monique Yingling is not a Scientologist, but she is the paid lawyer of Scientology. To epitomize who she is, watch Anderson Cooper's A History of Violence, and you will see her in her full-fledged not glory. Yeah, there's a show called AC360 History of Violence a with History Anderson, of violence. Anderson Cooper, and um, Monique got the nickname Blinky McBlinkface that's after right. that. That's right, yes. Um, okay, so then that's Dave. Well earned. Dave Miscavige in the middle as a bobblehead, and it says Captain Davey Mikowitz, and then it's got a picture of Tom Cruise, and I think he's either, I can't tell if he has a phone or what he has, but he's laughing. And then there's the ghost of L. Ron Hubbard again. <laughs> there's a lot of people that did different shoots and they put the ghost of L. Ron Hubbard yeah. in. Yeah. Does that look like the inside of the Fort Harrison? Um, it po very possibly is inside yeah. the Fort Harrison or somewhere in Florida. Yeah. Um, so, yes, there we go. And then this is an AI. I want to say this is an AI Dave. We'll it say is. AI Dave one because there's multiples. Yep. So um, <laughs> somebody called that last pick nuts of the round table. That's nuts of one. the round table. There you go. We never <laughs> named it. So Christopher yeah. Garsk, thank you for your amazing contributions tonight. Nuts You've of been the on round fire. table. Yes. There you go. Nuts, nuts of, of the, the round, round table. table. That is what that one. Christopher officially named that there one. There we go. Perfect. Good thank job. you, Christopher. We appreciate that. Oh, Mike said Monique also showed up with the muffins in the ABC show and admitted that Scientology had billions on CBS this morning. That's right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nuts at the round table. Okay. This is AI Dave one. And 
if you look at these AI Daves, they're very, very similar. So whatever artificial intelligence is generating these pictures has a very specific um, image of Dave that it usually creates that's very similar to all of the other ones. It's it's kind of crazy how it is. Yep. And um, yeah. Okay. So then you've got, this is AI Dave 2. AI Elvin Dave. Elvin Dave. Okay, so it looks very like the other AI Daves, except for they've uh, turned him into an elf or an elven, uh, an elf, right? If you're mm -hmm. an elven, you're an elf. Yep, you're an elf. Okay, and this is um, this is AI <laughs> Dave 3. Um, we'll call him Stubby Dave or Shorty Dave or Dave's already short. So we'll call this um, a a Captain AI Captain Dave. A A AI Captain Dave. Yeah, AI is not Photoshop. That's true. True. Fair um, comment. And these are also all portrait. So not my I'm not voting for any of these. Um but um but people like sending them and it all they have to do is say Elfin David Miscavige and then it 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 spits out a picture. This is David Miscavige wearing a clown outfit. Again, look at it's very, very um similar to the other images. I'm not sure how it's doing this. Um, this is Frankenfurter Dave, uh, just a single shot of him, a uh, side portrait, and he's got his uh, tattoo. And um, yeah, so that's Frankenfurter Dave. I don't know if this is the same person who did both of them. I don't it remember. Might be two separate people that did this. I'm not sure. Um, and that is, that concludes here. Uh, do I have to do it? Yeah, I got to go like yeah, that. That go. concludes David Miscavige Shoops of the Week. I cut these into their own little video, so I have to make a little head and a tail for that. Yeah. Th um, thanks for letting me sit down here to. Holy moly! Throwing off your wall. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all good. We're having <laughs> we're getting cozy here down in the uh, down in this this rock, this uh, little zone in here. Okay, let me see if I'm I'm gonna uh, answer the last of these super chats here. And while you do oh, that, oh, let's oh, let's oh, just oh. say whichever shoop and bobble pick you like the best, please comment in the comments on this video. Uh, we tally them up at the before next week's. So, yeah, um, Claire goes ahead and she goes through and she tallies up all the votes, and then uh, we announce the winner. So, but it's if, not from the chat; it's from the comments. Well, yeah, but they these chats do these chats go into the comments, or you have to do comments? You separate? have to comment separately. Ah, see, there you go. You got to say in the comments, not in the chat. Yeah, that's what I said. There you go. I didn't know that. I'm just reiterating that. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, let's uh, get the re last of these now that I, I went through. Yep. Uh, Kat Davies says, So Scientology is getting the recognition it deserves. Keep up the great work. Saw Aftermath years ago, and your stories were heartbreaking. Money, books, soon. From small, From small town, town in British, BC. British awesome. Columbia. Awesome. Cool. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank Thanks you, for Kate. watching. Um, LK Niche. No, I was not joking. I want to pay monthly instead of watching for free. Oh, memberships. Yeah, I can set up a membership. Um, I have to see about that and what kind of, uh, we have to figure out what kind of content that we can give to just the members. Okay. Um, but you can set up memberships on uh, YouTube. Um, I'll let Claire figure that out. She's good at coming up with ideas like that. So thank you. That's thank a great, you. that's a great, um, comment and we'll see. And also if you want us to set up memberships in, um, on the YouTube channel, then, um, then let us know in the comments if you would be willing to do, I would do it, make it really cheap, like a, you know, like a buck or something. Not, I wouldn't make it very expensive. Um, but yeah, we could do like a buck a month, maybe a buck. Is that even worth doing a buck or two bucks? You guys let me know what you'd be willing to do. And if there's a ton of people that say that, then, um, we are listening people. We'll do it. <laughs> I got to move. I'm done. I'm going to have a sci sci sciatica or a sci what is it? Um, Something. You don't want sci that. Sci uh, <laughs> some kind of nerve damage. Uh, Jay back. Dice, Wicked Davy was holding a red pestle and mortar. Yes, that's what it was. Um, thank you, Jay Dice. Um, this, Mark, membership is the thing you have to pay for. Chances are you have not enabled it. Subscribe is completely different. Yes. Yes. I, I'm aware now. I didn't know what she was saying on the membership, which thing. Please apply this to the cost of the Shoops and Bobblehead winners prizes. They make my day. Always oh. love watching you guys and Mike and Aaron, but top 
10 Tuesdays are my favorites. Yay. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, we are, um, we're still, oh, hold on. What's that? Oh yeah, that, we got that got, one. Got a match. Yeah. Um, You want me to read it? Got a match. Arrived late with, we'll watch the replay later to see how Claire ended up in Mark's lair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a long story. I'm really sorry, everybody. <laughs> we will figure that out for next week. Thank you for your patience. Uh, yeah. Um, and to see to more of Claire's interviews, sending love and great weather from Sydney, Australia, Jess. Thank you, Thanks Jess. Thanks for joining us, Jess, and thank you for your kind words. Um, uh, Denanimous says it, oh. was, it was a David Miscavige patch doll. Okay. That is so good. <laughs> David Miscavige yes. patch doll. That is amazing. Oh, the scavage patch. I might use that one. That's so amazing. Miscavige patch. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, I think I got all the... Um... <laughs> Somebody said Claire Blue from upstairs. Yeah, she sure I sure did. did. <laughs> She's been trying to get down here all the time. No, I had I, I my cats are probably really sad right now. My um, cats notice I said plural. Yeah, she's my cats. Um, not your cat. Okay. Bobbleheads and SP bracelets. If you don't have a bobblehead and you want one, you can get them from the SP shop. All the funds from the SP shop go to supporting the Aftermath Foundation. The Aftermath Foundation at aftermathfoundation.org is a foundation that helps people escape from Scientology. And if they have escaped and they're trying to get their feet back on the ground or start their lives over, the Aftermath Foundation um, helps them locate the resources and the items they need in order to do that successfully. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Zero. It costs nothing. Zero. Zero dollars, zero cents to subscribe. Um, and we're trying to get to 40, uh, 24,000 subs. And um, if you want to get a book, a Blown for Good book, um, you can go to blownforgood.com. All of the copies of the either paperback or hardback are all signed by Claire and myself if you buy them from blownforgood.com. If you don't want them signed and you don't care about any of that, you can get Kindles, Audibles, any of that on the internet. You can get uh, Kindle and Audible, you can get from Amazon, and then uh, you can pretty much buy Blown for Good anywhere digital or ebooks are sold. And yay, we hit 23,000 subscribers yesterday, so we gave an, gave away another book. Woohoo! Yes, every time we reach another thousand subscribers on the channel, Claire picks a person in the comments that says, I want a book. She picks one of those people and she sends them a book. So if you want a book and you don't want to buy it, you just want to win it. You got to comment in the videos that you want a book and which one you want. And when we tick over another thousand, you might win. So far, 24 people have won. Actually, more people have won because we're giving books away for good shoops. We're giving books away for good ideas. We're giving um, books away to people leaving Scientology. Yeah. So all that. All good. We're, I think we're at 35 right now since since you. Okay. And we've been giving up. away bracelets and bobbleheads. And, uh, yep. Um, okay. I think um, let's see what else. Oh, there's one more super chat after all that i was trying no more super chats guys we're trying to wrap it up um may cruz says um is there a, t a percentage to tie the scientology days bleed you for all they can they bleed you for all you can and what you can't yep they do more than you can even um, if you can't you yeah. still they'll still demand that you um pay there's not a lot of people in scientology that aren't given money to Scientology. If you're in Scientology and you're active, you need to be giving them some money on a regular basis to sort of stay in the fold or give them some, some of your kids or, uh, or run up some credit cards for them. Any of those things uh, will, and, will And let's not forget, it's layer upon layer upon layer too. They want you to pay for your training courses, your counseling. They want you to donate money to the international association of scientologists they want you to donate money to build whatever ideal org that's close to you yeah they want all your children to be members of the international association of scientology they will find no lack of reason to demand money from you yeah okay this one says casey isaac says thanks for all you do you guys made my day oh that is the perfect Cassie. that's the perfect chat to end on cassie is a frequent flyer here thanks for joining she us is. cassie 
Thanks everybody who joined. Thanks for everybody who watched to the very end. And um, yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. We will see you on the next one. Until next time.